these sunglasses are gonna make me look as cool as Lizzo does in this picture, then sign me up. I'm here for it. Hey guys, Mariam here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing another sunglasses review featuring Key Australia X Lizzo collaboration. So now if you have seen my previous reviews of Key's collaborations with celebrities, you know that there are some shades that fit me, some shades that don't. So in my videos, I kind of like to go over the quality. I like to try on all the different styles. I want to make sure that they fit my wide flat nose bridge Asian face. And of course, I also like to give a verdict at the end. This is the first celebrity collection from Key where at first impression, I am just stunned. There are so many shades that are speaking to me. A lot of them are just louder and cooler than some of the previous ones. That's to be expected because Lizzo is a cool girl. She is the epitome of female empowerment. She is the epitome of confidence, of body positivity, and I love that about her. So for that reason, I am just super duper excited for this collection. I'm really looking forward to trying all of this on and giving you guys a verdict at the end. So if you like this type of video, then keep on watching. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get to it. Key X Lizzo. Here we come. Okay, so I have 16 of the 21 pairs here in front of me. I don't have the three chains that are part of this collab, but that's okay. I have the products that were sent to me in PR, so I'm gonna test them all out. So basically this is what the PR package looks like. This is tray number one with all the different styles. This is tray number two with all the different styles. Unfortunately, I don't have the evasive glitter blue light protection glasses in both colors and also the come through glasses. Oh my god, all three of those are so cool and I want them and I definitely want the chains. Those look bomb. First shade that I'm going to try on is the Jezebel Twist. They have them in two different colors. Boom, boom. So there's a gold frame, navy to peach lens fade and it has some glitter within the lens. Super duper cute. Need to tighten those nose pads for my no nose bridge. And these I would say are very, very cool. Definitely a summer shade. Very easy going, very fun, great for a pool party that I don't know if we're gonna be able to go to this summer. I definitely love the glitter within the shade. It makes me feel just a little bit whimsical and I don't know, a little bit more carefree. I love the shade, I feel like it fits my face and it'll probably fit a lot of different faces. $65, let's try on the gold smoke. Oh yes, these are fire, you guys. I'm very busy. Did you ask me something? Did you, did you need something? Did you want something? Hmm. These are very, very cool. Same awesome twisted frame, thin, lightweight, $65 as well. I don't know, just like a slightly elevated version of the glittery navy peach one. Makes me feel cool, makes me feel very important. <laughs> Next shade that I am going to talk about is the Icy Embellished. Woo! $65 each. Definitely embellished in the most literal sense of the word. So these off the bat remind me of Rocket Man. Yeah, Elton John. This is what I see when I look at these shades. Let's talk about the white one first. So there are two types of rhinestones on this shade, a larger one and a smaller one. I'm actually gonna pop up a little video that I took yesterday in daylight so you could see the color of this rhinestone up close. I like the fact that the white frame is very, very matte. That looks very cool to me. It's also not making any sound, so it seems very, very sturdy. So it says on the website that the rhinestone is rainbow. You can't see it in the studio light, but you can definitely hopefully see that in the daylight video. Let's try this on. Oh girl. First of all, they don't really fit my face, unfortunately, so I have to put my fingers here just to make sure that they do not smear my makeup. I'm gonna have to add some sort of an extension, and because it's so white, my makeup definitely rubs off on the nose bridge part, which is to be expected, but let's use our imagination. This is what it would look like on a nose with a nose bridge. Groovy, baby, yeah! Definitely very cool, definitely very 70s inspired. These are the types of sunglasses that you can't wear literally. Like you cannot wear this as a glam shade. This is a standout type of piece, so you have to dress it up accordingly. So now let's move on to the black and rose gold rhinestone shade. Again, not a fit my type of face situation. These are the types of shades that I would probably wear with a simple white t-shirt, very low key and dressed down. So this could be the only statement piece. Don't wear these with yoga pants, Gen X or Karen. Yeah, I'm talking to you, don't do it. 
It's gonna make you look like a Gen Xer. Also, Karen, please don't wear this with other rhinestones. This would not work. It will make you look like you got these at Canal Street. And those of you who are from New York know exactly what I'm talking about. These feel very sturdy. They don't make any sound. I wish they fit my face, but I'm gonna make them fit my face. You watch. Next up, we have Level Up. $65 each. They come in two different colors. Tortoiseshell gold brown and also a black gold smoke. I really love this gold rim detail. These are large squared off type of cat eye, full face, full shield type of sunglass. Sadly, no nose pads. Let's try on the black pair first. I do like this part. I love how it just emphasizes the brow. Really, really cute. These are the types of shades that you wear to go food shopping if you are a celebrity and you do not want to be seen, or if you want to look like a celebrity who does not want to be seen, just wear your face mask and go grocery shopping. Boom. Here are the brown ones. Oh, the brown ones are so cute. They look so cute on me and my grown out highlights. These are just very breezy, very cool. Very like throwback Tom Cruise from the 80s, but in a modern take. Do you see it? Do you see it? I'm gonna make these work, you guys. Next up, we have the Jaded Shade. There are three colors in this particular shade. I have two of them, the Star Studded Black and also the Navy Pink Fade with Glitter. These are $65 each. And I don't know if you guys know, but these are the same shades that came in with the JLo Key Collab. These were the very flimsy, I didn't like those, very Canal Street, I call them type of shade. They seem to be very sturdy in this version. All right, so here is the black gold star studded smoke. These were made for my nails. I have a feeling these will not fit my face, but let's try. Actually, I can make these work. These are definitely the kinds of shades that are made for a star by a star. They just make you feel cool. This is one of those shades that you wear to the park while you're social distancing, and then you pass by some 13 year old girls. These are the shades that will make them say, she looks so cool. Love those. And I feel like over a mask, I can possibly make them work. Right, these are definitely a little bit sillier. The fact that they have a glitter and a fade, they are making a little bit more noise, but still very, very sturdy. I feel like they've leveled up the jaded shade since the JLo collab. This one is great as well. Definitely a little bit more 90s vibes, possibly even early 2000s vibes, but I'm liking the vibe and I'm feeling this mood that I'm in right now. It's also making the room look a little bit more psychedelic, just a little bit more jaded, which is definitely an appropriate name for this shade. Love these. All right, we're done with tray number one. We are moving on to tray number two, which has my absolute favorite shade styles. The moment that I saw this yesterday, I was like, that's the one for me. That's the one for me. That one was made literally for me. I feel like these are gems, you guys. They are just so cool. So without further ado, let me grab the first pair that I was so attracted to. So this here is Transcend. It comes in three different colors. I have two right here, the blue and the rainbow. You can kind of see the reflection. This one re definitely reflects blue. This one definitely reflects rainbow. There's my monitor over there, hey. Love the fact that they have lenses on the side. This is just like a super cool skiing type of goggle. Another throwback to the 90s, but it's something that is so current and it's so relevant now. Love the fact that these have very sturdy looking nose pads. Look at that. And they kind of have a very minimalistic vibe. Like they're not too much, they're just enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now this is the shade that I would wear in my little outside area in front of my lawn and uh, shield off all my neighbors, have them wondering about me. Who does she think she is? Where does she think she's going with those shades? These definitely give you that boss type of vibe. They are <laughs> a throwback, but also kind of futuristic at the same time. If you're willing to go for this look, it's definitely a look that's worth going into. I like these a lot. I think they're fun. I think they're cool. And for $65, these are really well made. Let's try on the rainbow. Oh yeah, it's over. And the cool thing about these is that you can definitely wear them all year long, even in the winter time. No one's gonna look at you sideways when you're wearing these in the middle of February, not even in New York. People are just gonna be like, yep, yeah, she's cool. I wanna know her. All right, the last two shade styles are my absolute favorite. I can't tell which one I like more. Uh, let me just start with the one that's closest to me. This next shade is called 
Flex. It comes in three different colors. This one is $55, so the cheapest one out of all of them. Boom, what a sexy little cat eye sunny. My favorite of the three is definitely this yellow smoke, even though to me it looks a little bit more like a chartreuse than a yellow. And it's not neon, which is what makes it a little bit more interesting. If this was neon, then it would read a little cheapy. It just has this cool retro yet very current vibe. I love it. This is one of those a New Yorker in LA type of shade, if you know what I mean. This is what I would wear if I went to LA now. It's me, but a little bit slower, a little bit more carefree, you know what I mean? Not so anxious like the New Yorker that I am, a little bit more laid back. Pretty much wear it with anything. Dress it up, dress it down, dress it like this, dress it with your hair up, but keep it fun. Ugh, I love this one. I feel like this one is a lot more approachable. So whereas some of these larger sunnies, like Level Up and Jaded, are very like I'm trying to hide behind my shade. I'm a celebrity or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm an influencer. Don't talk to me, but I kind of do want you to come up to me. This one is the opposite. It's just very approachable. It's very easygoing. I love it. Here is the white. Just so, so cute. I also get slight Tokyo vibes with this. Just like I'm a cool girl, but I'm nice too. Oh, and the black ones. They are just so dope. They are just so dope. There's not an ounce of pretentiousness in these shades and so well made. And the last shade has got to be my new favorite. I am talking about, hold please. We've got three colors in this style, a polarized, cool glitter, and gold fade. So gold fade is $65, whereas the gold glitter and the polarized are $75. Here's why. So the polarized, we understand. Polarized makes it $10 more expensive, but this gold just has such a cool little detail. Look at that. It's got glitter all around the rim of the lens, which is just so cool. And it's such a luxurious little detail that it makes these shades look extremely expensive. First, I'm gonna tighten the nose pads and then I'm ready to try these on for you. How dope are these? Just a simple classic aviator shade, but with so much attention to detail. I love the little teardrop situation here in the nose bridge. Obviously, I love the glitter. Love the fact that they are super straight, not crooked whatsoever. They feel lightweight. They feel super sturdy. And honestly, these might be my new favorite shades from Key, with the high keys being my number one favorite, Go Desi. These just might come in a really close second. So just for comparison, because you guys always ask me this in my Key Australia reviews. So here is the original high key. And I just want to compare the sizes. So this new style, hold please, is definitely a bit smaller, not as large as the high keys, but not as small as the minis. So this is still a sizable shade. It's still gonna shield you from all the hate is still gonna shield you from the world. But man, it just adds that little elevation. It adds that special touch. It makes you feel like a superstar. And I love that for me. Hold please, hold fade, period. Finally, the polarized. These are so cool, I am in love. These are your go with everything, black shades, matte metal frame, beautiful. Easy, great driving sunny if you drive. Perfect with any outfit, an all black outfit, a white outfit, a white t-shirt. Perfect with anything, with jeans. Could probably even dress these up. I am a fan. So now out of all the sunnies that I've tried, I can't even pick a favorite. I would say it's a toss up between hold please, the gold with the glitter, and probably these chartreuse flex shades. These would probably be my top two favorite. They are just so cool. They're different. Yeah, they make you feel elevated. They make you feel alive and whimsical and just a little bit more cute. You know, they make me feel more cute. You know what? I'm feeling generous, you guys. Okay. Where were we? Well, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are a little too large for your- I think they're a little too, no, I don't feel like a superstar when I was. A superstar. <laughs> Let's try on the level ups. Level ups. Sorry, this is so far not the man collection. You guys can use your imagination. If you have a narrow face like Lee, this is what it would look like on you. Oh, All right, wow, you just... let's do the Elton John. Yep, looking like Elton. Looking like Elton. Is that a vignette? Oh, that's pretty cool. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Well, let's do the black ones too. You gave me all the good ones, huh? Look like your mom. Hi, mom. Look Stop good. touching the lenses. These might look good. Kind of feeling those. With the right outfit, the right hair vibe. Yeah, I can see it. 
These are like aviators. These should look pretty decent. Nice, uh, nice weight to them. Like pretty good quality. Yeah, I would say this is. They try. Good. This is good quality. Cool. Thanks for playing. Peace, guys. All right. So as you can tell, some of these shades are definitely not unisex. They are leaning a little bit more uh, female empowerment. <laughs> But probably why I like them so much. That's probably why I'm gravitating towards this collection even more than the Chrissy Teigen collection, even more than the JLo collection. I dare to say that this is Key Australia's most star studded. It has the most star quality appeal. I, for one, am really drawn to a lot of the shades that are kind of out of the box and just a little bit louder and a little bit more look at me. That's typically not my personality and I usually like things that are a little bit more classic, but with this one, they stepped out of the box. I feel like Lizzo definitely put her spin on it. She's a cool girl and this collection is a cool girl collection. For that reason, I am gonna give this collection a really high grade, you guys. I think they killed it. This is a nine out of 10. Yes, 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 I know. Some of the shades definitely did not fit my wide, flat nose bridge Asian face, but but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So with that said, that is my review, my verdict, and I am sticking to it. Check out some of my other Key Australia reviews right here. More reviews, more beauty videos. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.